everyone. I wanted to do a review video for you today on a certain brand and today I'm doing Maybelline and that's going to be the brand I'm going to be reviewing. I only have three products from Maybelline so it's going to be kind of a short review but I'm going to try to get as detailed as I can. Um, and I know I'm not wearing any makeup right now. I just cleaned my face so I wasn't going to put on more makeup but I might because I'm going to probably do a few review videos. Well let's get started. So I will start with the very first product by Maybelline that I bought recently, I guess you could say. Um, it's the Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush 25 Rose Petal. And I've talked about this a lot because it's my favorite blush, the only blush that I really use right now. Um, it made me buy this other Maybelline product that I have. So um, this is a very shimmery kind of it looks just like a rose. I mean, it's a lighter color. Um, there's a close-up of it. If you can see in that light. The consistency of this is amazing. It's just like no other. I can't even explain it. Like, when it goes on your skin, it goes on so smooth. And you rub it through your fingers. It's not oily. It's not greasy. It's just, it's creamy. And then when you put it on your face, it's like powder. It's the perfect blush. Um, the only issue that I've ever had with this is it is really shimmery. So it kind of it kind of looks like I've had a lot of fallout on my cheeks <laughs> if I put this on too much. But with if you mix this and this together, if you put this on as your foundation and this as your blush, it goes so good together. Because this is very, very matte. So um, it just like makes a clean slate for you and then when you put this on it's not too bad it's not too oily glittery looking or anything like that um and i believe this is relatively cheap like three four dollars maybe four or five i'm not sure i can't remember i bought it at walmart and um i, I never really used a blush and i wanted to try a blush and, a blush and i've always heard about this one so but the consistency of that blush made me want to get the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse Foundation in uh, Classic Ivory Light Number no. Two. This is, I believe, the second lightest color, light number no. two. There is one that is lighter than this. This is my color. I'm pretty fair, but not the fairest. And this has the same consistency, very moussey, very light, fluffy, marshmallowy feeling. Um, it's just. It's so pretty. It's just, I, I love this foundation. I mean, I've never really worn foundation. I put some powder on or some concealer, but I never really wore foundation. And this foundation gives me the coverage I need without the cakiness, um, oily, shiny look. It's very matte. It's very, very nice foundation. And I believe this is eight, $8 or so. Very decently priced. You get a good amount. I've only used a little bit off the top. I was using the lid for a while. I've had it for two or three weeks now. Um, and I just, I love that foundation. And this blush made me get that foundation. And they have a Maybelline Dream Dream Liquid foundation, I'm going to say. And I was going to get that, but I can, I, it kind of seemed a little heavier, obviously, because this is a mousse. So I tried the mousse instead. Um, I might try the liquid, but I'm, I'm really happy with this foundation. Alright, moving on to the final Maybelline product that I have. It is the Color Stiletto Accenting Cream Eyeshadow in Bright Lights. And my mom gave this to me. It was in my um, birthday video. And um, I really, really like this as a inner corner highlighting stick. Um, it works so good. It's so creamy. It's got a little bit of shimmer to it. See that? Um, it's got some shimmer to it. Very creamy. It's just an all-around wonderful product. I don't know how much this is. My mom gave it to me. It's got a good amount still left in it. I'm not sure how much she used, but this is just awesome. I use this almost every day, especially on the days when I'm really tired looking and just want to brighten up my eyes and brighten up my look. I use this, and it works great. It's the best... Um, highlighting acting cream on a stick that I ever tried for. So that's my Maybelline review. I tried to get as detailed as I could. Um, let me know what y'all's favorite Maybelline products are.